Welcome to Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18. So let's get talking about numbers that came by from the Cement Pack. ACC reported a weak quarter. Nigel's here with all the highlights. Nigel, good morning. Uh, you had told us that the weak quarter is expected. Is it in line with the expectations of a weak quarter or are there any other uh, straws to pull? Well, uh, you know, Manglam, uh, the numbers were as weak as expected, really. If there was one positive, it would be that the realizations weren't as bad as expected. And in fact, the RMC business, that's a ready-mixed concrete business, that did quite well. In fact, it saved them the blushes at least. In terms of the top line, that came in lower by close to around 6%. We were factoring in a cut of around 8 to around 9% approximately. The total sales volume came in down by around 7%. So you'll say, well, it's a beat because we were uh, you know, expecting sale volumes to come in lower by around 9 to around 10%. But a closer look tells you that the cement volumes are down, yes, by around 9%. The revenues, though, were down by around 8% tell you that there was some kind of realization uptake of close to around a percent approximately and the concrete volumes were up by 13 percent in fact the revenues were up by around 14 percent so telling you that in fact even on concrete realizations that as well was up by close to around a percent on a year-on-year -year basis and the concrete business really was the strong part of, uh, of their numbers. That gives you the blended realizations up by close to around 1.1% approximately. And in terms of the operating profit, yes, it came in down by close to 9%. In terms of uh, margins over there, it came in at around 9.4%. Remember, this is operating profit margins, not a beta. If you go to the EBITDA number, then in fact uh, it uh, declined because it's down by close to around 10%. That's deducting the other operating income. That's really the difference between both operating profit and EBITDA. And the margins there came in at around 7.2%. So that's as bad as uh, expected, really. The RMC business, though, continues to improve. I remember a time when it used to be in loss making, then it moved into the profit. And just in the last quarter, it contributed more than 20 crores. That's what really supported uh, those margins over there. Well, operating profit uh, was weak, so profitability took a hit. The other income was a tad bit lower. The finance costs were higher. And in fact, we had an exceptional item as well over there because they were providing for diminution in value of some assets. CLSA, they have downgraded the stock to uh, uh, from underperform to sell. They're saying that it's an eight-quarter low, 350 rupees on an EBITDA per ton basis is rather bad. So watch out for the stock. I mean, it ended at the low point of the day in Friday's trading session, but the numbers really weren't really great. Valuations will support at around $115 per ton. Back to you. Thank you so much for that, Nigel. On to the political 